quick tutorial video on how we control the chamber ventilation on the new Bamboo Lab H2D. One of the things that's different about the H2D versus Bamboo Lab's other printers is rather than having to lift the lid and open the door when you're printing materials that can potentially soften in the extruder, Bamboo Lab has added a motorized door that opens up on the top of the printer and flaps that open up on the rear. And I applaud them for the innovation there. The thing is, I really think it depends on the ambient conditions in the room and what you're printing as to whether you do actually want to print with a sealed chamber or not. And they've made it a little bit tricky to control that. So first of all, just for the sake of clarity, I am not talking about the part cooling fan that is part of the tool head itself or the auxiliary part cooling fan that blows air from the side onto the print while you're printing. I'm talking about the fan that draws fresh air into the chamber of the printer from the top on the H2D when the little door opens and exhausts it out of the back. I have been running into problems with that causing um, inconsistent cooling or too much cooling on PLA prints that always completed fine on my P1S or my X1C with the top still on and the door shut. Again, your mileage may vary. It's really gonna depend on the ambient conditions in your room and the type of model that you're printing. But for the stuff I do, like big functional parts, I have never opened the door, I've never taken the lid off, and I've never had a problem. So I thought it was really suspicious that there's no settings in here under cooling for that auxiliary fan, or not really the auxiliary fan, but the chamber exhaust. I'm not even sure exactly what you would call it. Uh, there's nothing in settings overrides either, advanced, you don't see anything up here in the G-code, even though it does end up getting in inserted in the start G-code when you slice your model, if it is a filament that Bamboo Lab has decided should have you know, chamber air circulation for. So there is a way to turn this on. It's a little bit confusing. We have to go into the configuration for the printer first. And I saw this here, by the way, and I assumed that this was not the place that we would turn it on. I think it's confusing the way they've written it. Under accessory, it says air filtration enhancement. And it says enable this if printers support air filtration enhancement, which is weird because all the H2Ds have the chamber ventilation. So I don't know why this wouldn't be checked, but I still, I saw this before and I thought, ah, oh, this must be for some sort of extra filtering or something. I don't want to filter the air more. I, I, don't, I don't want it to run that fan, but if you turn this on, let me close this, and now we go back into the filament settings, and we go back to cooling. Well, look at that. Now we have an extra setting down here at the bottom. And this is still confusing the way that they've implemented it, again, from my perspective, because if we don't change anything right now, if we just leave this unchecked, I believe it still automatically runs this based on the type of filament when you slice the model. However, we can override it by turning it on. Yes, that's right. So if you wanna turn the air filtration or circulation of air through the chamber off, you first have to turn it on. And then you can set this to 0%. And when you slice your model and you send it off to the printer, it will print with a completely sealed chamber. You can also set this to whatever percent you want. I think it goes in increments of 10. I bet you we can set this to five, but it won't do five. It's just gonna round up to the nearest uh, unit of 10. So there it is. It is that simple, but I just think it's convoluted how you get there. And I haven't seen anybody else post this. All right. So one more time, really quick, in case you missed it the first time, we're going to go into the printer settings, basic information, scroll all the way down to the bottom and turn on air filtration enhancement. Once you've got that turned on, go into the cooling settings for your filament and go down to the bottom and you need to turn on Activate air filtration. That's right, you've got to turn it on to turn it off. I know that's confusing, but just trust me, it works. Check this box, set this to 0%, slice your model, and you will find that when you print it, the chamber will stay sealed and you will get the same performance that you were used to getting printing with a sealed chamber in your X1C or your P1S. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I normally do functional prints here on this channel, so if you like that sort of thing, check out some of the videos on the channel. And if you do, I'll see you next Friday.